my fucking gun. No way he's fucking pulling up right now, bro. This fucking late? What the fuck? What the fuck? Dog, what the what? fuck are you doing? The fucking trash day, dude. They put the fucking trash cans in the spot. <laughs> Jeez, dude, it's already 12.30. We're fucking burning daylight, dude. They want to put the trash cans in my spot. Come on. <laughs> Dude, I just leaned. Welcome to the day in the life of AJ's classic car repair, where we sip mountain valleys all day and listen to nonstop pop FM and restore classic cars. The victim that we got in today, and we probably had for a couple months actually, is this uh, 64 Chevelle. And we're doing everything. You name it, we're probably doing it. So, American Auto Wire harness, digital gauges, insulation, carpet, whole lot of new stuff. Audio system, subs, everything. So, <clears throat> that's what we got going on today. We're doing uh, some amp wiring and a little bit of other extra stuff that we're just cleaning up. We're almost actually finished with this, so we're getting there. Let's, uh, let's give you a tour of the shop. So this is our workstation where we do soldering, electrical. These are electrical bins. You name it, we do it here. This is our little station. This is our makeshift table that we kind of came up with so that we don't have to keep taking things off of that one. Uh, it's a work in progress. Probably need to get more tires and you know make it a little bit longer, but it's, it's getting there. So this is where we store the tools at night so that they don't get wet because for some reason we have unexpected rains and yeah my shit's always getting soaked so put it here this is a little storage area this is my shelf where I keep things off the floor so that the leak from the garage doesn't get all over you know just you know lots of band-aid fix type shits so but yeah anyways anything that I don't on the floor it's here so this is my most expensive shelf and most disorganized shelf, but it's organized to me. So this is a 63 Impala shelf and basically just anything that isn't over there is here or there. So I just need to get cabinet space and just, you know, get more organized, but this fucking garage is small as hell. So moving on to the next project that we got over here. And this is my personal project that I'm probably never going to get around to. Actually, all three of these were that I'm just probably never going to get around to. But it's for the aesthetics, so that it makes it look like I'm always got something going on here. And hopefully, one day I can get to the brakes. And that was the original plan, was to get to the brakes. But it's a 74 F350, and hopefully we'll get to that one soon. What's that, uh, that thing hanging right there? Don't ask questions, bro. Don't ask, just film. Just film. Don't ask questions. Let's see, my bad. So to get to the little uh, coat rack that we got here, that's a homemade coat rack. Basically just threw this over, made it happen, made it work. So this is where I loom all the fuse boxes in this corner. And not much else to it. So, okay. So moving on. Um, oh, if you need to use the bathroom, uh, it's right there in that corner where the Home Depot bucket is. Yeah, that's fucking gross. Don't be ridiculous, all right? We only fucking pee over there, okay? No, you don't. So, shut the fuck up. So, but yeah, if you need to wash your hands, you can just always go inside. So, but yeah, that's our spot. And um, yeah, moving on. That's basically all we got today and all we got to show you. So now we're going to move on to the amp rack and what we're doing over there. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna pretend that this isn't here actually. He's right. Okay. Right, so, <clears throat> we're running the power wire from the front to the back. We got a fuse going. It's going to that amp right there. And then we're also trying to find a solid ground, which we did. All right, so let me show you uh, more of kind of what I'm talking about so I can give you a better idea. So basically, we're running the ground and we just found, we had to measure around the whole place, figure out a good ground for this. But 
This is the ground or the power wire that's going to the amp and then the other amp that's in this built-in subwoofer. Then we got the grounds for both amps and sub and then we just need this ground. So we got the main power wire coming from the battery and then we got this one that's going, we just need to find a ground and we did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wire, the ground wire, put up this wheel well, go to here. We're actually gonna mount it on this little bracket right here. We measured it, it's a good ground. So we're gonna use it. So that's what we're doing right now, cleaning up the rest of the wiring. Then after that, we're gonna move on to getting the neutral safety hooked up, the reverse lights hooked up, all of this hooked up and just cleaned up, throw the carpet in and we're almost there. We are literally almost there. And that's what you guys are gonna see today. So whatever we get done today is what you're gonna see.